The joist bays, where the foundation of your home ends and the framing begins, are a critical area for improving your home's energy efficiency. In this video, Jim Bradley, a home energy efficiency expert, shows you how you can seal them with rigid foam insulation and minimally expanding foam. Another method of tightening up the basement box sills or joist bays like this, uh, as opposed to using the spray foam, would be to use rigid board insulation. <clears throat> I like to use a product called Thermax because it is fire rated and that way you can leave the white side exposed to the inside of the, uh, the, the basement, the living space, and be assured that it would have a proper fire barrier. Now with that, we would just cut pieces to fit into these joist bays, and it makes it much faster if you measure the typical joist bay and get a measurement and then drop it by a quarter inch in each direction. So this one measured 14 and a half by nine, and so I made it at 14 and a quarter inches by um, eight and three quarters. And that way you get a kind of a loose fit, but not a really loose fit. Because if you tried to really force it in there, it'd be really difficult and frustrating. So I would pre-cut as many of these as I would need. And then I would t simply take them and slide them into the, the joist base. Sometimes you have to work around wires and pipes, but it's worth doing correctly. Those three are in, but now that's not enough. That does provide us with an insulation barrier, but we also need an air barrier. And that's when the reusable foam gun comes in to play as well. Now these bays are pretty tight, so it's somewhat challenging at times to get the appropriate seal. And that's why at times we will use a, a hose, um, basically a clear tubing again, to put um, the insulation exactly where we want it around the perimeter. The diameter of this <clears throat> is usually 3 eighths of an inch diameter that fits around the, the tip of this uh, uh, reusable foam gun. And once again, it's available at many of your local hardware stores. Using the flexible tubing to direct the flow of the foam, apply the foam all the way around the perimeter of the rigid insulation. The foam will adhere to both the insulation and the joists, effectively gluing the insulation into place and ensuring an airtight seal around the insulation. The foam provides the finishing component of the air and insulation barrier that we're trying to achieve. If we just put the foam up there without it, it'd be just like having fiberglass there because the air would still leak around the sides. And so it also holds or glues, if you will, the insulation board in place at the same time. So it's a couple different purposes that it's serving. Whether you seal your joist bays with rigid foam or other foam technologies, it's a marked upgrade from fiberglass and an important step toward making your home energy efficient.